Hello! In this video we will discuss numerical and graphical methods for exploring relationships between two categorical variables. The data come from a survey on 477 San Francisco residents. One of the questions on the survey was, in general, do you feel that the laws covering the sale of firearms should be made more strict, less strict, or kept as they are now? The respondents were also asked their party affiliation. The distribution of the responses are displayed in a contingency table. Using this table, we can evaluate whether or not there is a relationship between San Francisco residents' opinion on gun laws and their party affiliation. It appears that more Democrats than any other want more strict gun laws, however we should note that more Democrats than others were surveyed. So we can not simply compare the raw counts in these cells to evaluate the relationship between these two variables. Instead, we need to calculate relative frequencies of Republicans, Democrats, and Independents who want more strict gun laws, and compare these relative frequencies to each other. Let's start with the Republicans. There are 72 Republicans in the sample, and 54 of them want more strict gun laws. So the percentage of Republicans who want more strict gun laws is 54 over 72, 75%. Next, 272 Democrats, 235 of which want more strict gun laws, so the relative frequency here is roughly 86%. Lastly, 133 independents, 63 of them want more strict gun laws, that makes roughly 47% of independents who want more strict gun laws. Democrats are more likely than others, and independents are least likely to want more strict gun laws. Since we're able to spot a trend, we conclude that there appears to be a relationship between opinion on gun laws and party affiliation for these San Francisco residents. If the relative frequencies we calculated were equal, so if it was equally likely for someone to want more strict gun laws regardless of their party affiliation, we would have concluded no relationship between the two variables. We can also use visualization for evaluating this relationship. An obvious choice for visualizing two categorical variables is a segmented bar plot. The heights of the bars indicate the numbers of Republicans, Democrats, and Independents in the sample. And the bars are segmented by color to indicate the numbers those who want more or less strict gun laws or those who think that gun laws should be kept as they are. Note that these are frequencies, in other words, counts and not relative frequencies. So while segmented bar plots are useful for visualizing frequency distributions, in order to explore the relationship between these variables, we need, to, we need a visualization of the relative frequencies. A mosaic plot like this one displays the distribution of opinion on gun laws conditional on the party affiliation. It also shows the marginal distribution of party affiliation as well. So let's start with the marginal distribution. The width of the bars is what's telling us about the marginal distribution of party affiliation. We can see that more Democrats were surveyed than any other, just as we saw in the original data. Now let's look at the breakdown of the individual bars. Among the Republicans, we had seen that 75% want more strict gun laws. These respondents are represented by the first segment in the Republican bar. Similarly, 86% of Democrats and 47% of Independents who want more strict gun laws are represented in the first segment within their respective bars. Visually, without relying on the relative percentages we calculated earlier, we can see that the length of the segments representing those who want more strict gun laws vary by party affiliation, indicating a difference in opinion among members of different parties, hence suggesting a relationship between opinion on gun laws and party affiliation. We could of course examine other levels of the opinion variable as well, but we've already seen a relationship. I hope that this video has been useful for understanding how to use contingency tables and mosaic plots for evaluating the relationship between two categorical variables and why segmented bar plots that display frequencies may not always be very useful for exploring such relationships. Thank you for watching.